That may sound like an unusual canvas for an artist to work with. The scrap parts from old London buses. Well, the metal panels have been salvaged and transformed into paintings. And it's to raise money for a good cause too. Here's Chris Legg. Where London buses go to die. But before some could reach their final destination, they were given a new lease of life by non-profit group 4x6. Their panels stripped off, cut down and sent to artists around the world. Among them, British-Israeli Gideon Rubin, who painted this work called Green Dress. What was your initial reaction when you were asked to paint on a London bus panel? I loved it. <laughs> I loved it. I mean, I've, I've, I've painted on I'm kind of a traditional painter. I paint on canvas and then, and, and, you know, on, on big pieces of paper and cardboard. Uh, never painted on a, on a, any part of any bus anyway, but uh, the kind of iconic double-decker London red bus. Um, I love the material. 26 bus panel paintings were exhibited in London at the weekend and are now available via an online auction, with all profits going to homeless charities. Milo Phillips and Alex Dorber co-founded the project. This is a Japanese artist called Kinu. And the good thing about this is that we usually we send people very rectangular and square panels, um, but she wanted something that was kind of show to know London bus. So we gave her this wheel arch and yeah, she's done really well. I love the, the shadow around here. The online auction ends at 2pm tomorrow, with top bids for different works currently ranging from £300 to £10,500. 19-year-old Freddie Peacock from Bedford painted Who is Virgil? It was kind of just enjoyable overcoming different things. How would I paint over something that's got a slight edge, a slight raise in the surface? Um, I really enjoyed incorporating the rivets and the holes in the panel as well. I think that definitely added something to the piece. Next time you board a London bus, you never know. One day, this could be where it really terminates. Chris Legg, BBC London. And you can check out the auction for yourself on the 4x6.com website. It's all for a good cause.